Kathy's not coming, that's just Josh. And she's tend to go home to call me. Okay. Yeah. All right, so local works, October 22nd. This is a uh, call to order. Would anyone like to uh, adopt the agenda? I propose to adopt the agenda. I'll second that. Okay. And so we are four, right? Mm -hmm. About the meeting minutes. Yes. That was going back to the 24th, and then we met for a couple weeks. I didn't. Uh, oh, Devin. Who never sent out? I got a copy here. I don't know who did it. Did you do them? Let me see. It's a long time ago. Are they good? Basically, just the way it was us talking about the, 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 the survey, survey breakdown and stuff. Okay. Right, I'll take responsibility. You take responsibility sure. for that? You want to make a motion? Sure. Oh, sorry, well, can you, yes, I thought they were great. I'm not sure. Let's move on to the uh, public comments. There's no public. How about our address from Jessica Allen, City Planner? So I have this crazy idea. <laughs> I'm pitching it to you. So, um, I like that you're ready, crazy idea. <laughs> 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 I don't necessarily that. So, um, this is something that's just sort of been percolating in my head, and I'm wondering if this would be some uh, an event or something that the local works would be interested in. Um, I'd like to hold something. I'm calling it in my head the East Hampton Innovators Expo. And it's, you know, there's, there's a lot of businesses, especially in the mills, that are really hidden, that are doing really cool things. And it's not just necessarily artists, but it's kind of this creative manufacturing sector that I think it would be great if we would promote or highlight or do some event to let people know of some of just some of the amazing manufacturing that's happening in East Hampton that's not sort of your traditional widget kind of manufacturing but just these really creative um, designs and um, stuff that's being produced. The, um, this is kind of highlighted to me by Peter Davies who's a real estate agent in town and he does a lot of um, the representation for the mill owners in, in town. And he just casually mentioned that you know one of the businesses is there, and if I'm getting this right, I'm not even remembering if I'm getting this right, but I think they take some sort of plastic and then do some processing to it with sand and glass, and then their final product is this high-end wrapping paper that they sell to this really high-end retail facilities. So it's like stuff like that, that like, yeah, you go, yeah. cool. I didn't know we had that going on here. And I think, it, you know, having being a community that has a traditional manufacturing base but is sort of evolving to a creative arts economy, I think it would be kind of a cool way to kind of bring those two histories or stories or narratives together into one event. And so I'm pitching the idea to Local Works because I know that you've had some discussions about having some sort of an event or a festival or something. And so I think this is this would be an interesting spin on it's more than just a festival and it's more than just, you know, a, a, a basic business thing, but really sort of culling out from the mill owners, and, and I could, you know, take the lead in talking to the mill owners and getting a list of businesses that they thought would be interesting, highlighted. I've had a, a brief discussion with Will Bundy at Eastworks, and um, he has offered to um, have a meeting with the city and himself and Kim Carlino, who's his new assistant, to help possibly organize something at least with the Eastworks. And he said he, he would even be willing to, to host an event at his building. Cool. And so, um, you know, it's very preliminary, very, you know, infancy stage of an idea, but I just thought it would be something that maybe local works would be interested in, 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 in doing. And so I'd be more than happy to help organize and do, but I certainly couldn't do it by myself. And since this seems sort of like a natural fit with promoting 
local businesses and getting folks to understand sort of the local products that are available and they might they're not necessarily probably available for purchasing by local residents but again it's sort of highlighting that new manufacturing this creative economy it's different from the arts you know it's a creative economy in a manufacturing sort of way that's happening it's not just happening here it's happening all over the valley and, um, but I thought it would be nice if we could maybe figure out who's doing it here and, mm -hmm. and you know so whether it's you know having them give tours of their facilities or whether they'd be willing to have a presentation I have no idea but that's this is my idea you know and maybe it's not just a one-day event maybe it's sort of an ongoing series especially if it's like a tour thing so you could be you know like the second Tuesday of every month there's this this tour of a facility and have it be part of a bigger thing I don't know I'm totally I think it's a yeah, cool idea. Cool. Um, so, any sort of time frame that you're thinking of? I have no idea. Just an idea yeah, okay. at this point. I mean, I think it would be great if we could do something maybe within the next two years. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know? But, because um, it's going to take time to plan and time to coordinate. And Like I said, I'm happy to reach out to the to all of the mill owners. And, and there's cool stuff going on at Long Cottage Street, too. Um, so, I'm thinking, you know, probably Mill 180, Eastworks. Um, Brickyard, I think he's got some cool stuff going on in there, but I'm not exactly sure. Well, the um, the sound, right? Um, sorry, I can't think of the words. But, um, it's not stereo loud, but um, that's a big so one. Sound um, sound loud. Sound loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think there's lots of mm -hmm. things that could be. I just feel like these are businesses that are being. I mean, you're in the in in East Works, right? Yeah. So you probably have a good sense of what's going on in there. But I yo yo the yo yo business. You're something in East Works. You have something in East Works. Right? I, I got an office there. Right? Cool. Obviously, cool. Great. Um, I think it's a great idea. I think it's very neat. And I, it's one of the first things that I thought of was how cool because the arts seem to be very well represented already. Mm -hmm. um, and this would be something that could make sure that that side of the thing, A, doesn't get lost, but B, we can show how it ties in with to everything else around us. Mm -hmm. And maybe we want, do you want to reach out to more of the traditional, you know, I haven't had the time to, to contact or meet with any of the industrial businesses at this point, but you know, they may be doing some cool engineer, I mean, they may be developing really interesting things that we're not aware of. <laughs> And it's kind of that cross fertilization of if they can get their concept or their widget out there, whatever that is, there could be a business somewhere in the region that needs that widget, but they don't know that they can come to East Hampton to get it. They think they have to go to China to get it. Right. So it's, and there's no state database at this point that sort of lists businesses and all the different things that they need to make sure that we're sort of locally purchasing. The state's kind of working on that. Mass Development gave a presentation not too long ago about how they're trying to sort of match make a little bit better, but it's really hard because things are evolving so mm -hmm. fast. And and then it all ties into that sort of the STEM stuff, the, the science, technology, engineering, math, education mm -hmm. stuff that's really sort of to yeah. starting to come up. And so I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of possibilities. I just need other brains to um, <laughs> make, it all way, make it work. Do you think, um, the chamber, some of these, some of these people that make things but don't necessarily have much public a public face. Hmm. Are there many of those in the chamber? Or in, in second part of the question, do you think the chamber could be helpful toward this effort? Well, there's not a girl other than the ones we already we know about. I mean, the old, not the old, I want to say, but the established. Established. Thank you very much. You know, the the Barry, the right. Stephen, right. National Logan. Right. Those are your, um, you got, pardon me? Chem plastic. You got, yeah, Chem, that whole, the Chem Metal October Company, he's right. of applications. Those are those, your older. Are they members of the chamber? Some of them are, yeah. Some of them are, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there, there, there could be processes in there that. Mm -hmm. That could be cool and innovative that we don't know yeah. about. Right. And I'm wondering also if the EBIC could be involved since it's economic is the well first I didn't approach group. them first I approached you guys first okay well so, I'm, but I'm I think on we can, the EDIC too so I know you are so we can certainly <laughs> we can certainly bring it up to the EDIC but I, but since Local Works has been talking about trying to hold an event okay. that's why I thought maybe you were a good natural fit first mm -hmm. because um, because you've been talking about doing that 
then we can certainly involve whoever we need to involve. Mm -hmm. There's no limit to who can be involved in it. But um, but I'm coming to you guys because you seem to have more of an interest, I think, at this point in that kind of stuff. I like it. I think so, it's cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's make it work. <laughs> chop chop. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at the barn, look at the truck. <laughs> the magic fairy dust and make it all happen. So I guess what I can do then is maybe I should do the outreach to the mill owners and maybe potentially I can try to get Will and Kim Carlino to come to a local works meeting. Does that make yeah. sense? Okay. Make sure we know ahead of time which one it is so we can actually put them on the agenda. Yes, I will. It could be both. Okay. Um, and then let me see if I can get some lists from the property owners of some businesses that we could do outreach to, and then maybe we can. And I don't even know what the so we need to figure out how the how you would want to how the event would work. Would it be like this monthly tour thing, or would it be, yeah. or would it be a kickoff event and then monthly tours afterwards? Or I don't know. Yeah, because when you're talking about what may be happening, spreading across a month, like you say, there's right. fires maybe one time straight all the way up to right. the community, et cetera. We can certainly feature one of the um, manufacturer manufacturers on the website, like maybe once a month, and that's where the tour oh, that's takes a good place. Idea. That that's a good Featured idea. business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea for the local on the local works website. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of the tour. Yeah, personally, the open house tour. Mm -hmm. Because that way, I mean, I think we don't want to ask them to try and bend over backwards too much. Right. right. And, and this way, if, if we have them put a lot of effort into one event, or put some effort into one event in the beginning, and then they could just sit back and wait for their turn, then people could come to them. Right. And just prepare for one night or one afternoon when people are For an out. hour, you know, yeah. like an hour yeah. open house mm -hmm. for the facility. This is, this is what we do. Right. And they, can, and they can host that open house however they want to host it, you know. Mm -hmm. They can just walk around or they could make a presentation or whatever. I don't want to force anything and I think it's a good point. I don't want to make more right. trouble than... No, I mean, yeah, so that's make more work to make yeah, right. could be doing other way just to do this. Right. Yeah. yeah. But maybe it would be worth having some sort of kickoff event. Maybe it could coordinate when your survey results are out and maybe that could be, it could be all tied together. You know, maybe that's, here's what we heard from the survey and, I don't know, announce it as a thing that you're going to be doing. Mm. I just crossed out the words crazy idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so crazy anymore. <laughs> I've got the crazy idea. part out. It's a great idea. Thank you. All right. So I'll do what I need to do, and then maybe at the next meeting we can sort of think about how it would actually be framed or great. come to see. Do you want us to put it on old business for the next meeting? You can do whatever you want with it. You can set it up anyway. We don't even have to discuss future initiatives and stuff, so if we put it on that, there you go. Then Okay. Anything else while I'm here? Um, Run would, back to the back. Were we going to ask Jessica to review our um, our synopsis or our synopsis when we're done with it? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Okay. So yeah, yes. we would like you to look at what we come up with before it's time to go out to the general public. Yes. And timeline is soon. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, did we? I, I missed the last meeting. But are the we? Last meeting we didn't have we didn't form. So the actual last meeting we got together was that when we were working on stuff. That's what yeah. Okay, it. and we weren't quite done yet. Then were we? No. Okay. So I think we we've had a two hour and a half sessions where we just plow through it mm -hmm. and try and make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if we were able to do one more of those, mm -hmm. then we can start drafting things. Yeah, and I'm going to work on it in the meantime. We, Jess and I have had some conversations about me devoting more time to economic development local work stuff, so I'm going to be able to put more hours into it. Okay. On, um, on that side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we need to just get the results out because it was you, the survey was done when? May. May, yeah. And so I'm, I'm afraid it's getting stale mm -hmm. if we don't put something out soon. Great. So, um, yeah, it would be great. And, you know, I think, he, and I said this to Jamie, it doesn't have to be a 50-page document. You know, it really has to be something digestible, I think, that we want to be able to put on the planning site and be able to use it as a marketing tool to attract more businesses. So if it's something that's, you know, no more than five pages kind of thing, just to sort of hit the yeah. high notes of what the trends are and something really digestible. It doesn't have to be this really heavy loading data mm -hmm. thing that's hard to chew through. 
And the format that we're going after, where we're <coughs> taking those um, the basic facts of each uh, of each mm -hmm. um, question and just writing a uh, a, 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 like a little like a statement, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Is that yes? Did you talk about that? And that's a but, cool but way that to go. Or the, I didn't talk about that, but that's okay. No, oh, um, but that is like we we're, we were trying to look at the data to verbalize it, right? To pull out what the the story is behind the data. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what we were doing those hour okay. and a half sessions. And okay. That would be the perfect synopsis. And we're not going into like the. If, if, if I were you, I try to. If once you start looking at everything, if you can come up with like just three things, like what are the three biggest things? You know, let's not overall have a, or each question. Overall, like you know, so what, what is the data? What are the three biggest things that the data is showing you? Okay. That everybody in the world wants a bakery, right? That was that's one pretty clear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what else. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the data all that much. So, um, but it, again, trying to make it as digestible as possible for the layperson. You know, I'd like to use this as some sort of marketing tool mm -hmm. of how to market East Hampton. What are consumers looking for in East Hampton? What what businesses should we be trying to to get? or attract or have discussions with or mm -hmm. that kind of thing so um if there's something that i as a planner can send to somebody and say we want your business to come to east hampton because this is what the public this is these are the services or the retail that we're missing that people want and be able to hand them something that they can sort of easily read and digest that would be ideal that's how i would be using the document okay that's probably also going to be more appealing to the general public, having it be more concise. Right. And if you, I mean, you could have the back story data. Oh, yeah, we're simply you know, to available have, for you. For right. Also. Yeah. Right. But in, I would think of it sort of as an executive summary mm -hmm. of everything. And that, you know, what are the big, the three big things, or the, you know, no more than five, I would say, big things that, that show in terms of trends. And the format of that is bullet, or the format of that is an essay, or like a short. I like graphs and pictures and graphs, pictures, some, pictures and graphs, pictures, some narrative, bullets, fine. Yeah. I mean, I think a combination of everything. So some narrative. Mm -hmm. okay. Think of it as a marketing tool. Mm -hmm. yep. The final report. It's something we're going to try to use to recruit businesses. If that's what the data is showing, I don't know what the data is showing. All I know is about the bakery. It's the only thing I've heard about. So. <laughs> Second thing. People want to be able to buy socks. <laughs> socks. That was that's big in the master plan because yeah. Ames closed right before the master plan started, mm -hmm. and so that's what we heard a lot. Um, is there's no place in town to go buy socks and underwear. Yeah. But that was you know 2007, so that was. Yeah. Now people don't need to have those things. No, now, no. well, Peebles is open now, so people, you know, there is a place apparently to buy socks and underwear. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, very good. Thank you. For Thank, you. Thank, All you right. Thank you for entertaining my idea. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>
deal with this. So the committee wants me to work sure. on it some more. Um, if you want, I'd be happy to help if you would send me your notes. I do remember, I think you said you were going to send yeah. us your notes. I, I, I did say that, and then yeah. I was kind of embarrassed about the state of my notes, and I went to clean it up, and then, you know, one thing <laughs> Oh, come on, we're all friends here. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, so my, my plan is to have something for the next meeting. Okay. To give up one, maybe I'll send it up a few days beforehand so everyone has a chance to look at it before the meeting. Um, okay. And then we can, Maybe that next meeting we can go through it and comment on it and you know, see if it hits the ideas from what the committee thinks based on everything we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things we haven't hit upon, as I recall, is remember that we purposely put aside the extra comment sections. Right. Mm -hmm. and we haven't delved into that to see if there's anything we can glean from that. I think those are viable, but I think we should. Oh, yeah, we got the nuts and bolts. Put yeah. those in as well, on an as needed basis mm -hmm. or not on an as applicable or appropriate basis. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the biggest thing I took away from what Jessica said here is keeping it simple and concise. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, no, but what he's saying, though, is if we do read through the, all those comments and see if there is something that just what? keeps getting repeated. Oh, oh okay. You know, comments, that might yeah. be something yeah, that we can add yeah. to the narrative for the, the okay. overall outline of the survey results. Yeah. Um, I would like to see, I mean, if we get it next meeting and then set the meeting after that to finalize it, I, I think that's pushing it out too far. Um, well, so I was saying if I could get it to everyone before the next meeting, so at the next meeting we can, as a group, comment on it and make the changes so that way. Then it's final. Close then final. after that it would be yeah. basically yes. the tweaking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. would only need minor editing at that point. And, yeah. and would that be everyone's okay with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I just kind of sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. What if we move the meeting up so it's two weeks from today rather than three weeks? I'm looking at the calendar here. Mm -hmm. That's not nice. sweet. <laughs> so what's going to happen? We're only going to get we're only going to get one meeting in in November then probably because that we're looking at Thanksgiving week, which may not. Would be great for folks. I don't know. So, if you want to meet, could we make just the next meeting an hour and a half? I prefer that. Do we do we need that much time? I want to make sure we get this done. Yeah. Yeah, we really do. It. We really need to do that. Okay. Um, so nobody likes the idea of meeting on the fifth. We rather wait till the twelfth. Twelfth. Well, Jamie has all the information, and Jamie is the one who needs the time. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not gonna. I'd rather. I, I like deadlines. Yeah. Three weeks is because that'll give me two weeks to work on it and send out, and then a week for everyone to look over it and get comments. And mm -hmm. if there are major things that I need to update, I could still have time to update it before the meeting. Okay. So on the twelfth, we we're pretty much finished with it then. Yeah. yeah. We'll that that be the idea. Okay, so ideally we have a week to look at it. Yeah, yeah and, and, all your and, and like and like that there'd be time for people to come back with comment. Okay. You know, if there's substantive comments, then they would give me a week to like okay. yeah. redraft before we're at the meeting and say this is this is it or not. Okay. okay. So we're gonna meet at three, but perhaps have a two thirty. Go a little longer. Do you have no do you have trouble getting here earlier than that? I can't remember. I think it Kathy just depends does. upon the week. If I have a heavy auction, then yes, it's hard to get there. I think Kathy has a different time. We need a normal time, but go later to 4.30. That's better for me. Yeah, yeah. that's better for me. Well, there was one, but at the last EDIC meeting, they said that we would meet right after the... Oh, right. Yes. Is it that day, May 12? We, we put the EDIC moved theirs. Yeah, so I, I couldn't make that meeting. Yeah. Um, Actually, it's out a little more to get there, too. We need some insight as to remind me. I'll tell you something, but we talked about that. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I believe it was the December meeting. It was. It was the December meeting. It wasn't the December meeting. Really? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Because I moved it. Well, then how about we go from three to three thirty, then on the twelfth, on November twelfth, three to four thirty. Yeah, <laughs> let's go to three to three fifteen. <laughs> oh, I so that's the twelfth. Yeah. And Jamie will send the summarized info the week before. Yeah. Um, what about the narrative that she's talking about? Can I start that? 
over yeah. the next couple of weeks. If you want to work on a narrative, that's great. I um, would be happy with that. Good. Okay, all right. And what else did she say we needed? Three to five bullets, main key points. Right, so do you want to figure out what those three to five things are? Or no, we're going to go for one. I mean, it would be kind of based on what you come up with. I mean, so that was, my thought was that I would take what we already developed mm -hmm. by going through those questions um, and start to construct that into the narrative mm -hmm. and then generating the graphs and the charts that emphasize what we've developed and to kind of organized into those are like here's the three to five things and here are the pieces that can I make a suggestion or a request that do that but in between right after you before you start doing the graphs and stuff send what you have thus far out okay. so that Denise can work on narratives and the, and the rest of us can start to think of ideas for the three to five bullet points okay that makes sense So, we can actually make So, I'm getting ready for them to okay. uh -huh. And then cleaning up after it on Thursday. Anything else on the survey? <laughs> or we're pretty, we have a plan on that. So, it's yep. a good plan. I think we have a good plan. So, yeah. All right, so she's, she suggested narrative, three to five bullets, mm -hmm. and then we'll have the, the summarized. Yeah, so that it's, my, my, it's like three to five topics that we're trying to say like, right. you know we need retail but not just general retail yeah. people are looking for right. these types of businesses right. yeah mm -hmm. you know we need um bakery right um oh, pe people to. people shop here for these types of things and here for these types of things mm -hmm. um and maybe the third one is Okay, but as far as our like overall the final presentation that we're hoping to have done in three weeks, we have a narrative, we have the bullets. The but the bullets narrative and the start. Start. but the narrative and the bullets and the stuff it all I mean it's a type of one right right document. So right. I think the bullets could be highlighted at the beginning and then actually bullets could be highlighted at the beginning and then the narrative could break down each of those bullets a little bit more and then you could have the graphs and stuff within that graphs and quotes from individuals within that and keep the whole thing under five pages that would be actually really useful if I could I'll, I'll come up with when I start working on the the structure of it mm -hmm. putting together what we've developed up to now with um, where I think the three to five bullets are mm -hmm. um, and then I'll send that out to everyone. <coughs> we can sort of have a, without violating open meeting law, um, mm -hmm. you can just send me your comments, in, but only your comments to me directly, not including everyone else. Okay. Whether or not you or like think that I'm on the mark or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if we are, then we can go forward and start to go through the comments that support those bullets and making the graphs that support those bullets. And I can do the graphs and the charts if everyone else wants to take care of going through those comments that, that like emphasize the points that we're trying to make. Okay. Does that? Gotcha. Does that? Mm -hmm. okay. I just think it's putting an awful lot on you when there's five or six of us. But I mean, now I have well, we to have, to have central. Yeah, he's kind of like the repository where all the comments that we yeah. work I mean, the we problem is, I mean, is, if you're working on the narrative, but I'm working on the yeah, but I can't work on it until until you know it's it's almost after, it's yeah. almost that that person yeah. that's doing the narrative has to be doing the well. So do the beginning part. Yeah, I mean, just neatening up and and cleaning up the notes that you took. Yeah, send that out to us. Yeah. And then we can start, and maybe even earlier than a week beforehand. Yeah, I can get that out to everyone by the end of this week. That's perfect. <clears throat> maybe don't clean them up, you know, 100%. Maybe clean them up 50%, and that's something that we can do. We're not going to make any judgments yeah. to your yeah. stenography or your <laughs> grammar or anything like that. I mean, just it's the part that we have the yeah. info in front of us. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll send out that by the end of this week. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and then we can go from there sort of. Thank you. Can we put some teasers on the website or Facebook so we can get people? We're done by in three weeks. I mean, so we can start. Actually, that will really hold our feet to the fire if we do that. Mm -hmm. So I'd say we do it. Well, I'm going to ask this question: Are we done in three weeks, or we want to be done? I know we want to be done. Three yes. Weeks. Okay. It'll hold our feet to the fire, mm -hmm. so that we really have to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that says you can't write a second report if, if after we write this initial somebody's oh I wish we did that we'll go back to the data you can always, True. You know, we don't want to do that too much we don't want to look wishy-washy no but he can it. if somebody else wants to look at it and yeah. develop their own True. conclusions right. yeah right. it'll all be public information so. yeah. oh you know in that light while you're working on this since you're right next to Jessica mm -hmm. and you want to bounce something off her please feel free I mean mm -hmm. I don't think we necessarily need to wait until we have a finished thing to show her. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. okay. She's a valuable resource, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that would be good to maybe put out a few quotes or whatnot on Facebook. Mm -hmm. One thing I've noticed is that the Local Works Facebook page has a number of generic looking in kind of endorsements or repostings of kind of these pithy quotes about local mm -hmm. Santa something. Mm -hmm. I think it, I'd like to pose it uh, for discussion. Does, does that kind of devalue our platform a little bit? Because it's some of the stuff is not a, it, we have our own material. I think we should be more, in my opinion, more original with what we're presenting and, and leave some of that stuff to to where it is. Well, we, always, we always have the ability to take something off. Yeah. Yeah, if, we feel, if we feel that it's not not appropriate. But we have to be careful not to offend people. Right. No. But it's easy to go back to the like what was posted a year ago is no longer relevant and you can just hide that from the timeline. Mm -hmm. So it's you know that timeline is short. Um, if, if it's if it's too much, that's like a national by local as right. opposed to like a local by local. Mm -hmm. What's the our material that you're talking about? Well, I just have noticed that I, that I get these things in my feed that look like local works is suggesting that, you know or reposting a comment. Oh no, no, I know, but you're saying that we have our own well, material. I'm saying, that we're well, the part of the problem is is we really haven't had a whole lot of original material to post up there, so I think it's a good. You know, whoever is posting that is it's it's from a good intention. I think you know to at least give us some sort of presence. But I feel like it in a way it cheapens our brand mm -hmm. because it's just kind of like what's well, this another generic comment about right, right. local? Looks like it's almost like it's not local because it's a big campaign from some like corporate thing. national by local. Or right. I think we should only post stuff that is real local works relevant to East Hampton, our content. Even if it's just mundane comments of somebody in East Hampton saying something, kind of like what Pat does with the chamber or whatever his page is, where it's like East, you know, something about East Hampton, oh, mm -hmm. the bridge, mm -hmm. you know, at least it's something relevant. Now this says East Hampton Local Works shared. This. Right, that's what I'm saying. We should so one, share. One that. of us did this, I would think. We would yeah. have to be one of us, right? Did they? No, no. You have to be a, Some, an administrator. Somebody who could be Kathy. Right. Kathy's yeah. administrator. Correct. Yeah. A everyone yeah. in the group is. And they're one of the So there's a lot of stuff like that. In fact, there's all. That's the only thing that's that we've been sharing, and right. I feel like it's just kind of. Does it, how does it respond? I mean, you can see how people... Nobody, people have been going, they're like, well, this is not... Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you know, I mean, we found this on the planning department website, is we when, we, when we first started Facebook, we had a lot of shares of other people's stuff. They would get maybe one or two clicks, maybe 10 views or something like that. Whenever we posted our own stuff about things that are happening in the city, it would get hundreds of clicks, lots of views. You know, we stopped yeah. posting things that were not really right. related to mm -hmm. what what, what, your, what the planning department was doing. Right. Um, occasionally, when something comes up that we think is really relevant at the regional or national level, we do post it. But those are 
few and far between. These, these come across as distractions, in my opinion, where it's just like, so, you know, it's kind of like a non sequitur, in a way, because it's not our content. Well, I mean, we should be I'm posting more. what you're saying, but what, what's the material you're talking about? What are we going to post? Well, we, we, now we have our survey stuff, so we can start to post little teasers about the local work survey, you know, and, and be more okay. targeting. So I don't necessarily think that this is bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just thinking, so I think it would be is incorrect. We need to... I'm not trying to call whoever put that no, out. No, I know. Say, I know. You know, you know. But, I'm, but, I, but I think it's, they think Jamie's right though. If we do get hundreds of hits from things that we originate, right. then we should do should that. Do original content. Uh, versus if you like to post that kind of thing, do it from your own Facebook page. Don't do it from a group that you're kind of presenting as if this is local works, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, that said though, if there is a law on the, lo on the local work right. page. Which there has been for well, then it's okay. just, I guess. <laughs> so, so, no, I saying, if there is a law, then right. it's okay for someone to share this. Right. So we have one on Sunday, we have one right. on Wednesday. There's a lot of those and it just... It and nobody in this room is doing that? Um, I think I did I did one. I know that. I did two this weeks ago. I think I, I did, did this I did one. one about two weeks ago. Well, I didn't do the Santa, um, and I didn't do this one with all the growth. Or if it's just a... But that's okay, though. I mean... Right. I think all good let's, sentiments. It's let, all let's, good. let's revisiting stuff, though. Let's have our own... Or if you're going to put something like that, why not put a comment in about East Hampton? Hey, you know, I, I was thinking of this, and this is why I like Big E. Because, you know, it's like this. Right. You know what else we should do, though? is once we do, or when we do something about the survey, we can go in and we can pin something to the top, and it'll stay at the top mm. until we pin something else there. So no matter if someone puts something on our page, that one thing that we pin will always stay at the top. Mm. And so I think that being an original thing and right. being an important thing, I think right. we should pin it to the top. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Maybe you could do that this week. Yeah. yeah. But that only shows up on our page. On the so, page. Right, so when we still post something afterwards, that's what goes out to everyone's news feeds. But then when they go to the, the local the works page, page they'll see what they but they have to they have to be interested and click through to our well, page. The more original content we have our, of our yeah. own, the better. And with these comments from the survey, we can have hundreds of little posts, really. There's a lot of comments, and that, that mm -hmm. would be a great way to share them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we only have 126 fans, um, people who follow like us. That's all? Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to work on that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it would be nice, but we're not, you know. Well, and I, I don't know how to increase it. I mean, the, the planning department has 200 and something as well. So I think each of us possibly to say our own putting our stuff own groups say like this. Should we do that? I think each of us send something to our own friends. So like we, could try that. we could also try another one of those campaigns where we start promoting our posts with you know paid promotional posts. I, I don't think we need to do that. We got quite a few uh, impressions when we did that for the survey. We had like two clicks that people actually liked us from that. But, but we did get a lot of eyeball views. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think we need to spend posts. money right now. Yeah. I mean, I think especially when there's a free, easy way for us to do it. Mm. That for each of us to say to all our friends, hey, go like what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, we're up to, to such and such amount right. of likes. But I, but I do think we need to get some content on there so people, when they like it, they're not getting, like you're saying, right. it's just this generic. Mm -hmm. So we should put up something about the survey. Can we say we expect to have the survey published by, brought to you back, um, November 15th? The yeah, Ides in November? That's the end of the week of our next meeting. Right. I think we Crickets. should, maybe we should just do it. You know, we're not ready, but. In November, November, you can say in the coming yeah, mid November. Don't give it a date, but How about mid November? Soon. Okay. Mid November. Do you want me to do that? Do you want to do it? Maybe you could do it if you don't. Okay. But, but what if we, in addition to that, every week publish two or three uh, uh, mm -hmm. comments that we got from the survey up until then? Let's wait till we find out. Let's let's agree on the three or five big things. So I'll I'll right. yeah, take that. Well, let, let's teach. take that. Let's take that draft. I'm going to send up the end of this week with what I think the three to five big things are, and we'll just have a quick mm -hmm. like. 
e email yes or no whether or not we're on the right page and then if we'd like then post things that are relating to those three to five big things that's good point. yeah um, okay Yeah, I see what you mean because you don't want to not just going to be cross purposing, but you want to be get that consistency if you were leading up to it, correct? We want to yeah. stay in line with what our yeah. Final I mean, and I've always been is that the point you're trying to make? Yeah, and I've always been taught that like when you give a presentation and you say what you're going to say, you say it, then you say what you did say. Mm -hmm. So this sort of is like a, you know. This is what we're going to be talking about in our report. Oh, here's the report. Speech and then we can, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so we, could, we could do coming in November, survey results, teasers yeah. shortly, I don't know, whatever. And then yeah. let's get the figure get out the thing done. done. I mean, if we only have 100 people looking at it, then you know, the biggest thing is just get the results done. Hopefully that's going to help us grow our and then once we have a few oh, of those, 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 yeah. since once we have a few of those links, those those posts that are in between the sort of yeah. other stuff that we've been posting, okay. then we can reach out to our individual communities and, right. and so say, so look so at this page, sure, look at yeah. all this information that, that we yeah. are providing, we're providing the community. Okay. Yeah, that's a good timeline. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very good word. Yeah. Okay, so I guess does that sum it up for today? We look. I think so. We're looking at the twelfth yeah. for the next meeting, three to four thirty. Yeah. Okay. And I will put something up on the local works Facebook page about survey results yeah. coming in mid-November. Right. Watch this space. Okay. Move to adjourn. Adjourn. Do you have something else? I heard you. I was just gonna. No. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Because I thought you were about to bring something up. I'm just. I'm looking at Denise's face, and she looks concerned about her. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're still recording. We get your all day. Speak your heart forever. Hold your geese. <laughs> On the twelfth. Okay. We'll be there. I can't tell. Can you it's tell? It's still rain. It's off. Still on. Still on. Still on. I'm pushing the one that says start stop. That's the one.